Welcome to the Sober Q podcast. Hi, my name is Deb. I'm an alcoholic, and my talk for today is on uh, step seven. And the question is, what spiritual qualities do we aspire to? So, um, of course, step seven is humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings, which follows on from uh, step four and five, having done a moral inventory with our sponsor and higher power. We now know our defects and we can't become willing to let them go. And um, in step seven, uh, um, essentially saying through the step seven prayer that uh, we wish to have all those defects removed. So if we're going to remove those defects, we then are looking at what uh, qualities am I now aspiring to? So um, I was reading an article that talked about the 12 essential qualities, 12 being an interesting number in AA because we have 12 steps, 12 promises. Um, And it said that 12 essential qualities of a spiritual person. And so those qualities are positive thinking, inner peace, being egoless, unconditional love, optimism, harmony, humility, a very big aspect of our program, something we really do aspire to in AA in doing our program. Responsibility, compassion, justice, simplicity and reciprocity. So those, of course, are very um, clear spiritual qualities that... um, that really fit in with our program. Another one that is very strong to me and I have found has really grown in my um, sober journey is uh, empathy. I feel that uh, active alcoholics in the um, really active phase of our disease um have trouble have trouble having empathy feeling empathy for those around us because we are so absorbed with ourselves and our needs and fulfilling our demand for uh alcohol uh, and our alcohol rages and takes over our lives our alcoholism so Empathy is really important in recovery where we can begin thinking about those around us. And that is part of our, um, for example, eighth and ninth step when we go and make amends to those people we hurt because we've realized what we did. We are able to put ourselves in their shoes and have an understanding of what they went through during our alcoholism. And now we live our lives from an empathy viewpoint when we are going to do something or planning something or thinking about something we think well how will that affect others what will what will this do to other people so that's always I think an essential quality of a spiritual person and now my time is up so I'm going to stop but um, thank you for listening to me If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.